All right, here we go. So, what's human, guys? Um, I have no idea what this is. A lot of you guys have been talking about it over the past few days, uh, telling me, like, man, you got to check out what's human. You got to check out what's human. It's some, you know, it's, it's with the day day before it was supposed to be. You know, it was, it's really really good. And um, I I tried to get in the other day, but they actually stopped giving out beta keys because I guess the game blew up that much. Uh, so I had to wait like everybody else and um i ended up getting a beta key i believe yesterday night uh before i went to bed so uh i'm gonna check it out today guys i'm gonna see what the hell this game's all about uh it seems like a lot of people are really really enjoying it uh it's supposed to be like some kind of survival mmo type of deal i guess i don't know we'll, we'll see guys but uh remember if you guys want to see more of this I don't, does anybody know by chance how long the beta is for i don't know how long we have access to this game i don't know how long the beta is uh, i don't know how far in development they are i don't know anything about this so we're going to kind of come together collectively if you guys have any questions you can ask in the comments ask in chats um but yeah i have no clue you know how far out the actual release is um you know if this is the beta We'll, we'll just have to see from there but let's not waste any time and let's get in here guys um uh, i guess we can go with a mid-population world I, I don't think that matters right generally i pick servers based on, up that's oh, western us Is there, let me see pst pst are they all pst Oh, because I'm on Western U.S. Yeah, so that's all that's available is Western U.S. I mean, it is what it is. We'll just have to roll with some some low ping. Oh, hold on. Let me uh, throw my activation code in here real quick. I, I didn't know how to do this now. All right, give me one sec. out of my out of my email okay we should be good Uh, confirm, sure. Whatever that said. Our lives have followed a long path. But eventually, all roads reach their end. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. But everything is born from darkness, even the universe itself. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Once your faith overcomes despair, once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. That shit was so loud. <laughs> it was so loud, dude.
All right. Okay, so character. Oh shit! Look at some of these pre-made characters. Oh yes. Um. So these are just the presets, and then they have these character models. Actually, look pretty damn good. Let me see. So can we change? Okay, yeah. So we could change it. Um. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Because I'm I'm really bad at this type of stuff. Like like sculpting and stuff. Oh, dude, is there like a random button? Or we might just roll with the the. The Jet Li looking dude. Guy yeah, looks cooler to me, anyways. Make up body face. Yeah, but yeah. Um, let me see. Um, I don't know. See, I don't know how to. I don't. I don't. I don't do this. This is not what I do, Chat. Like sculpting. I mean, at least it's not that that bad, I guess. Like inner eye corners, like dude, what the hell? <laughs> it's too much. It, yeah, inner eye, inner eye corners, chat. Upper lip. Like, look how many settings just for your upper lip, bro. I, I don't need one, two, three, four, five, five different settings, six settings for my upper lip alone. We'll just roll with this, chat. It is what it is. Uh, this is way beyond my, my, my skill level of customization, okay? Fucking six settings for my damn upper lip, dude. Seriously? It's not a bad thing, chat. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's not a bad thing. It's just not a good thing for me. <laughs> All right, dude. Um... So you can change your eyebrows up. Wait, how do I get the the black eyebrows back instead of these gray ones? Um, dude, there's so many eyebrows. Let me see. Just want the dark ones. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Beard, baby. Let's see. Go like this. Drag this down. All right. Typical. Our typical Brian character here, guys. What the hell is that? Is that eye makeup? Um, just pupil dilation. Oh, dude, look at the what the look at the colors, man. Look at the detail on that eyeball, dude. That is pretty, that's sick. Yo, that's sick looking, dude. Yo, what is up with that? The 
Ooh, can I get, can I have red eyes? Kinda. Chill. <laughs> that looks fucking demonic, dude. I still can't get over how those eyes look. I don't know. I might just go with like these like weird. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not good at this. We'll just pick some we'll just pick some eyeballs, okay? Let me see. I mean, those look pretty cool. Still can't get over those eyes. Like adjust the intensity and stuff. Okay, there's too much, man. That's crazy looking, dude. Oh, now we're straight Uchi high. That's what I was. That's what I wanted, dude. There it is. Rolling with that, guys. I actually don't care. All right, so height, we can be, we'll just be like normal height, you know, 50 seems good. Head and neck size. <laughs> we'll just have a normal head. And like your, like your average neck. Listen, guys. Oh yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be a little buff, a little buff. Yeah. Shrink our waist down. Yeah, there it is. Gotta have them, them thighs, them calves. We were no, we're, we're looking a little, a little too thick there. There we go. There it is. It's about, it's pretty much exactly what my body looks like in real life, guys. Pretty much identical, dude. Identical. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's, uh, that's a pretty cool tattoo. Oh, you can have multiple tattoos. Okay. So we're just let's just get tatted up, dude. All right, and then where's this one go? Right in the middle. Yes. It all comes together. All right, there, whoa, why am I floating? All right, so our name is going to be the Brian Menard. There we go. Okay. Liquid nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Physical movement or brain function, not detected. Subject status. Stable. Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. What's that? Security breach. Security breach! <laughs> Bye, brother.
How you doing, Leon? I'll nerf the audio once I get in game. Blitzing. I'm gonna have to mess around with my researchers, adult human. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, so right now we gotta explore the lab and find out the password. I think to maybe get out of this place. But all right, let me let me nerf that audio real quick. You guys say it's quite loud. Uh, we'll just turn the master volume down to like, we'll try like 80. How about that? We'll see how that rolls. How that feels. And then I need to turn up the sensitivity a tiny bit on the camera. Um, there it is. So, so far, game actually looks pretty good. Um, now, the thing is, is I'd never heard of this game before. Like, I, I never in my life heard of this. So, I didn't expect much. I thought it was going to be, like, you know, one of those copy-paste survival games or whatever. But already, I got to say, this is quite good looking. Um, day zero. Seven of code has been updated, confirmed by the supervisor. Update code after completing today's experiment. Okay, so you can gain uh, past insights by reading notes scattered around the wilderness. Information uh, from these notes will be added to your collection upon review. Is this game going to be free? I have no clue. I actually, I there's probably you. There's probably most of you guys in chat know more about this game <laughs> than I do. I actually have no clue. Um, I also need to change up some keys real quick, uh, just for melee. Melee attack. I'm gonna put a secondary down for. Yep. We'll just use that, it's fine. Oh shit, what was the code again? 
0728. 0728. We're mostly super. Okay, so we got his access card. Give us access around the lab here. Uh, so food replenishes energy, drinks and water replenish hydration, and medicine restores HP. Use these items to maintain your vital stats. So, um, hunger, thirst. GG. Summon V. Uh, the mysterious bird-like entity is your guide. Although its true nature warrants investigation, it still stands as companion on your side for now. Uh, you can summon V. Dude, this sure reminds me of like Death Stranding for real chat. Talk to the strange bird. Thank God you made it out alive. Who are you? What is this place? Dude, we actually you don't recognize my voice? I don't recognize a goddamn thing. Answer my questions. This place is an abandoned monolith built by the Rosetta Corporation. It housed one of the many silver gates that gave Rosetta access to Rift Space, another dimension of space and time. Another dimension? Yeah. Okay. Look, you have a ton of questions you want answers to. So do I. If we work together, Maybe we can survive long enough to learn the truth about what happened. Interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Wait. Survive what, exactly? Deviants and deviations, for starters. They're in here right now. You'll see. Come on. Let's go find a way out. Damn. We're, we're voice acting, Chad. We're, our character is voice acting. Whoa, what the hell? Tell me about this thing on my back. It's called a cradle. It protects you from stardust and allows you to channel certain powers. It'll be a vital tool if we want to survive. Good to know. It also contains my consciousness, so try not to damage it, okay? Sure, I'll do my best. Oh wait, there was a backstab. Oh shit. <laughs> almost just right off the bat, Jay almost died. What the hell was that? That was a deviant, a mutated human who was infected by Stardust. Whoa, I was meaning to ask you about that. Stardust? Well, when the silver gates opened, Stardust just started pouring through. of human beings never survived exposure to it, certainly not in high concentrations. Most people ended up turning into creatures like that. Yeah, so you can get you can get backstabs off. So ripple in the space-time detection nearby. I just want to. I don't know if you can like loot or whatnot. Yep, here we go. Uh, so we got yeah, food. We got water. Let me actually use some of this food and water stuff here. So we got water. We'll drink. Um, and then I'm gonna eat a little bit. Oh, so that's like a little I think it highlights stuff when you use that because yeah, now I can see that chest over here. Backstab.
Okay, so we got some pistol ammo. Set a card. Oh, DE50. That's a hell of a pistol to start with, man. Okay, so weapon invigorate. Press E to consume prime energy to activate the weapon's invigoration state, enhancing its special effects, combat abilities, primal energy, slow to regenerate. Okay. So check out your weapons. Okay, so this is our gear as of right now. I wonder if it matters. Which one? Okay, this is going to be some kind of dimension puzzle. Uh, we got a wrench me melee weapon. <laughs> now, is there a dodge? Yep, there is a dodge. So I'll make the melee a lot easier for me. Ah! Oh, don't. Uh, the, this game didn't cost any money. No, I just, I just message. If you go on their website, you can apply for um, early access or beta access, and then they just will send you a key. That's all I did. I had to wait like two days before I got actually got it, but uh, that didn't cost anything. Is that a butterfly? Not quite. It's a deviation. Non-hostile by the looks of it. Okay, so do we avoid it? No. Try using your cradle to contain it. Uh -huh. Now, can you play this game in first person too? Because I've seen like... Duh. some kind of butterfly in her a little backpack so special to um, bring past scenes to life activate okay okay so shift initiating a sprint enhances jump distance my name's Victor Hammond oh, what's your name I want to go home I want to see my family I know you do can you tell me how you ended up here Men came and took me away. They said I'd been exposed. Exposed to what? Stardust. I see. I'm afraid. I want to go home. I understand. It's going to be okay. I'll find a way, but it may take me some time. They won't let you take me away. I overheard them. They have plans for me. The Living Silver Gate is on the other side of that door. We need to take her down, and we need to do it now. Rosetta reinforcements are going to be here any minute. We're running out of time. 
All right, let's move. Talon, you stay outside and hold off any Rosetta troops that try and stop us. The rest of us Mayflies will breach the room and eliminate the target. Copy that. The Origin Entity is not evil, but it is a threat that humanity must protect itself from. The OE does not see how resourceful and resilient we are. That the future belongs to us. That it is ours for the taking. That we are capable of so much more. But first, we must fight for the opportunity. Or die trying. So we got a bunch of loot. I want to see if there's anything in here. Food and water. Dude, we need some. We need some gear, <laughs> bro. We're still walking around barefoot, dude. When a target uh, is a controllable object, use telekinesis. Yeah, yeah. So we seen that earlier. Those two look no normal. I don't know what the fuck this is. Is it gonna turn around? There we go. Can attack with suitcase head chat. <laughs> what is happening, dude? All right, so we got a little bit of ammo. We're up to like fifty something rounds now, so we could we could shoot a little bit. Oh, there. There's butterfly chick. Hello. Hello, Mayfly. It is good to see you up and moving around. Your voice. Uh, who are you? I, like you, was once a regular human. But now, I am an agent of change. A glimmer of hope. In a broken world. What does that mean? Come with me and see for yourself. Yo, this shit feels like. Oh. Some machine gun set up. It's a nice base defense. Structure decay. Terminal. I forgot what all this is here. Let me loot real quick. So you could you could just sit on the furniture like that. <coughs> Excuse me. A 
After some trial and error, I finally managed adding working containment function to the cradle. It should prove quite useful. A new weapon? Another de Desert Eagle. And ammo, though. This So this is a tier one. I think the one that we have is a tier one, too, right? Yeah, both exactly the same. All right, talk to me. Wait, her name is actually is Butterfly. This, place? this is a liminal space separating your world from the world of the Origin Entity. Until you're ready to face the chaos beyond these walls, this is a safe space. The Origin Entity is what destroyed the world? Mankind's desire to be one with the gods led to the devouring of our world. Hubris. The devastation visited among all living things was the consequence of hubris. Yes. But also of two realms colliding. One far more powerful than the other. And the Origin Entity, it's still here? The original Great Ones left after almost all living things had been consumed. Yet, the debris of that conflict still pollutes the land and harms the people who survived. It has led us to this moment in time. I don't understand. Neither do I. Find and contain the deviation in this facility, and you will gain the strength to confront the outside world. In doing so, you will also better understand your path. Okay, so secure deviation requires placement independence. Um, secure unit, blah, blah, blah. Secure infrastructure. progress of a deviation. Deviation power production. Critical. It just sounds extra fucking confusing. Who does just put the damn? What, what am I doing? Am I just putting a butterfly in there, dude? Okay, yeah, it was just putting the butterfly in there. <laughs> that shit sounded. And now we gotta try to make the butterfly happy. Um. I can't go that low. Okay, so, 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 what am I actually supposed to do, guys?
So I have no clue what the hell we're doing with that, but yeah, we'll just we'll just leave that. Sure. Piano number one. Butterfly should enjoy that, dude. Is this deviation I've contained connected to you in some way? In a manner of speaking, yes. And now, it is a part of you. Your path is forming nicely. I still don't understand. What path? It will become clear in time. Be patient. Right now, we must overcome one final obstacle before you are ready. What's that? Deviants. Many of them. Just beyond the barrier. When you're ready, I'll attract them to oh, us. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I will do my best to help you before this space collapses. Before this space collapses? What the hell are you talking about? The enemy will be very strong. Prepare yourself. Lady, I got a, two pistols and a, and a pipe. I mean, we do got these 50 kills, though, Chess, so this shit should help. Hopefully these actually... And a flamethrower thing. Yeah, we got some base defense going on here. Hopefully this actually works. Now, how bad could it really be? Okay, these guns are putting it work, dude. I don't even gotta do anything. Can't move very fast with this big ass gun on you. Never thought I'd see the day. Cool ass dude.
You have done well, Mayfly. Your journey back is complete. Now, a new journey must begin. For the wheel of evolution never stops turning. Only the direction we travel is left unresolved. Remember that the disaster that has befallen our world is not the end, but the beginning of something much greater. Are you coming with us? For now, my place is here. Yours is out there, beyond the Silver Gate, in the world of humans. Though your path will be fraught with danger, you must move ever forward toward fostering a new era of progress for humanity. Where do we start? What do we do? Shut down the Silver Gates inside the Monoliths. Embrace the power of Stardust energy. Gain strength for the battle to come. What battle is that? You will understand when the time comes. For now, help the people and safeguard humanity against those who would threaten its survival. As you gain more power, we will meet again in the in-between. Good luck, Mayfly. Alright. <clears throat> Have no clue what the hell she's talking about, but okay. So we uh we fought we fought Siren Head chat. So we're seriously playing Fortnite? Oh my god, dude. We really are. I was joking. I was joking, dude. I was fucking joking. Oh shit. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of community down here that was smashed through. I'm gonna land at this house here. Oh, fuck. There we go. What is this? It's one of those butterfly boxes. A rain collector. What the hell is this? Wait, is this like a did a is this a players? Wait, you could can you build in this game? Wait, is there PvP? Oh, there's a fucking deer. Bitch. Yo, that's sick. We got meat and hide. Oh. Oh, wait, no, the little baby deer. Should we, should we take it out so it's not left alone? Nah, we can't, we killed Bambi's mom. We can't, we can't kill Bambi, Chad. It's fucked up. Wait, is this a player house too? There's a lot of deer, Chad. Holy crap. Yeah, see, this is this is how cool my bases usually look. Nothing like that, guys. You know how my bases are. They're usually like this. Oh, 
Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Guys, I didn't think there would be like base building or shit like that in the game. All right, so I got to talk to the bird here. It's telling me, but I wanted to like go around and Oh, uh, we can get these berries. Oh, these are like traditional zombies. So we already seen more zombies than the day before. Top here. Yep, here we go. I can't backstab. I want to test this out. Ha! Bitch. <laughs> Jacket. So that's all materials. How's it going, Brian? How is this game so far? Uh, Johnny, so far it's awesome, man. Yeah, we we literally just got started, but um, I mean, so far it's pretty cool. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And Coolin, thank you, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. is actually pretty decent. I lost my ability to backstab, though. Seriously, already there's, there's actually good bit of zombies in this. Zombies really aren't doing much, so they're just kind of hanging out. <laughs> Getting smashed on. <laughs> they're all looking away, dude. <laughs> that power attack is actually pretty powerful. in here. Yeah, right now this is free to play. Yeah, this is a... Uh, holy shit. Um, it's a beta. It's just a test. And yeah, you can... Uh, you can go sign up for on the website and, and, and get access to it. But I didn't pay a penny. So it looks like you can mine resources, obviously, here. Oh, you just have, like, a little rock that you do it with. What if you get, like, a pickaxe or something later that makes us faster? Also, let me uh, let me use these healing items. So I'm gonna heal, and then what does this do? All right, so we can eat. Oops, I didn't mean to eat that one. And then we'll drink. And then we'll heal. Look at that. All right, so that's a heal over time. All right, so let's get the bird out. We made it. 
We're back in the real world. Really? Looks the same to me. I'm still figuring out what this new form of mine is capable of, but I can sense it through the cradle. Okay. So, now what? Find the nearest monolith and shut down the Silver Gate inside? You realize you don't even have any clothes yet, right? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. First we should set up a base of operations, then grow our strength from there. Like before, there seem to be butterfly deviations here in the real world as well. If you can contain them, we should be able to use them to set up a territory of our own. Contain butterfly deviations, establish a territory of our own, grow stronger, then shut down the Silver Gates. Oh yeah, and get some close. It's a plan. Speaking of which, I've come up with a good way to keep track of our goals. I've set up a journey interface through your cradle. If you're ever unsure of what to do, you can always check that for our next step. All right, beautiful. Okay, so gathering trees, rocks, wilderness are common source of materials obtained through gathering. Um, okay, awesome, guys. So we got resource gathering. I got to gather logs and gravel. Let's see, so if we could do like... And then gravel. Maybe this. Yep. There we go. How bad did things get when this Rosetta Corporation opened those gates? It got real bad. The death toll alone was unfathomable. They called it Starfall. Far too pretty a name for what actually happened. And today? It's still bad. But those who survived are trying to build new lives. The Mayflies, you and I, we were trying to help when and where we could. Alright, so now we gotta find a spot to build, guys. It seems like a lot of players took some of the good real estate. Oh, she's going tomorrow? That's nice of her, though. Yeah, it seems like players took up some really good, good real estate. Oh, uh, is there a map? Yes, there is. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Okay. Um. Um, shit. All right, I want to, I want to, obviously a lot of players build here because this is the first place they land. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to move. We're going to move away from this area a little bit. So noise doesn't seem to be too big of a deal. Players are already out here getting huge ass structures built. I mean, the game's been out for a little bit, right? Like, the, it's been available to play for a bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head. I'm gonna head west a bit, a little bit inland. Um, we'll look at building over there. Yeah, we gotta eat. Can't tell what's player built and what's part of the map. I think this is part of the map. If 
fuck is that spider thing? Um, paintbrush, coat hanger, let me see, so how, is there like a weight limit on your inventory? Backpack. Okay, we're only at 18%, alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Want to make sure I wasn't looting like way too much, we're going to be super, super overweight or something. Oh, you can actually vault. <laughs> Remember, we were playing uh, the day before, and I was like, yo, you have to be able to vault, man. Like. Got that loose neck. What is that? Looks like a gun part or something. I wonder if there's any vehicles in this game. Do I know if this is coming for console? I have no clue. Does anybody in chat know? So it seems like as I'm coming inland, though, things are getting stronger. We're going from level one mobs to, like, level four mobs now. Wait, so do I have to build here? Or is that a mission? Okay, that's a level 10 mission. Okay. I seen that icon there. I was like, what the hell? Man, see, this would have been such a good spot, dude. There's already bases all over the place. Rain collector. <clears throat> it feels pretty impossible. So it's everywhere you look, dude, there's a player base. Like everywhere, guys. Front base. I don't know about that. We just need to find. We're probably gonna end up just having to squeeze something in between these other players. Maybe something. Is someone there? Please. Can you help me? I'm begging you. I'm wounded. Wait, where is this mission? Oh, look at this. There's a motorcycle. Probably somebody's motorcycle, right?
Andre Perry, thank you. Thank you. Get some clothes first. I've been trying for sure. Yeah, these guys are all level four, man. But Andre, thank you, thank you for the super chat. And MRD with the super chat for a uh, bit a while, or but only been watching a couple of minutes, and already this is better than the day before for sure. <laughs> All right, so we got a mission over this way um, at this hospital, but it says, we're, oh, we shouldn't do that. It's actually recommended level five. Um, let's focus on getting this base built, guys. Let's focus on getting this base built. I was trying to find some, uh, some real estate around here that was pretty clear. But as you can see, the players are just sucking up all the good real estate. Zombies everywhere, dude. Is that? Nice, we got level three. Something like right here, right? Ish, maybe. I don't know. Not as flat as I would like. You know what? Screw it. We'll just throw some down here for now. If it will let me. Oh, well, let's see. All right, so, um, cradle. Yeah, so this is the one we want to track. All right, so press T to set up camp. Can't even put it here. Okay, we can put it here though. Okay, so it's not ideal guys, but it's, it's, it's ours, okay? It's ours. So, gather supplies. The wilderness yields only natural occurring materials. Um, the workbench in a campsite allows for you crafting of weapons and armor using obtained materials. Okay, so you're not going to loot. It sounds like from what I just read there, you're not going to loot items in the world. You're going to loot resources, and then all of the items are crafted. 
I think. Let me see. Um, craft, so yeah, we can do throwing daggers, scrap pickaxe. Food, bolts, um, sealed flask, juice. So this is all like food and drink. A lot of food and drink there. And then craft gear. Oh, nice. So we can do a crossbow right off the bat. Yeah, so let's get this crafted. I mean, it's all right. It's not all that great. Okay, so now we got a crossbow, and I think I'm going to do a torch, too, just because I don't know how dark it gets at night. Okay, so we got a torch, we got a crossbow, and then armor. Um, we'll start off with some, some pants. Those are pretty dope, actually. Put those now. Do this vest. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to go out and do some more uh, looting. All right, so I'm, yeah, we gotta get more resources. Okay, so I already look like a straight up badass. Like it is just, it is what it is. Yep, oh, it's okay. There it is. So as you guys can see, it's also getting kind of dark. So we're gonna go around. Try to see if we can get ourselves some, uh... I want to check out this crossbow. Oh, I got I got a bolts, man. We got to craft some bolts real quick. Uh, where was... No, no, it was, uh, bare hand crafting, right? So what is this throwing dagger for? Don't underestimate the power of smoke. Use it to blind your enemy so you can move in for the kill. So what is like a little stun? Throw it in, boom, they, and then you can go in and knock them. Then you got the scrap pickaxe. Use everything you have on hand to fight those deviants to survive out there. I already have uh, my melee weapon, so I'm not going to waste anything on that right now. Damn. Okay, so we got five bolts crafted. We're gonna go, we gotta go get a little bit more wood. It's a big ass tree. So let's do a few more bolts. Should have combined them. Um, trying to think, how many bolts should I start off with? We'll do. Yeah, we'll do two more crafts. Okay, so craft a pickaxe in your campsite. So the game's like, nah, bro, you're crafting this fucking pickaxe. All right, so we'll get that going. And then uh, the Evo should press O to open the Mimetix and unlock Territory Core. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Is this like Knowledges? Yeah, definitely is. Okay, um... So this is for base building, it seems. Oh my god, dude. Where did this game come from? This seems so in-depth, and it just... I've never heard of it, and it just seems like it came out of nowhere. <coughs> Pro
primary weapons workbenches. Disassemble benches. And then furnace for basic minerals and shit like that. Let's get that going. And this is a uh, weapons workbench. We'll get going. Axe, arrows, camera. More body armors. Shit's all like arc, dude. So how many more points do I have? We got five. Explosive projectiles, activators, base fortification, traps, fort uh, more fortification type stuff, logistics, cooking, meat drying, fishing. Oh, basic storage. Yeah, let's get that. Lighting tool, so we'll get this. So I spent all my points I had for right now. Uh, find a suitable location. Press B to place territory terminal. Okay, so construction mode. Open build menu. Oh, okay, now we're straight up, like, building, building. Okay. So we gotta, we, we gotta, uh, get more wood and stuff like that. But I wanna go out, we're gonna go out and, uh, see what we can find. Test this out here. Damn, that was a lot of damage. I wonder if you can get some of your bolts back. Yep, nice, and you get your bolts back, guys. So outside of that gun that you start the game with, it doesn't seem like the game's really going to give you anything. But you have the crossbow? I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. It's pretty good. I wonder if weapons break down like they have durability. Let's see. Yeah, they do have durability, so... What is that? <laughs> Who's that? Hmm. Maybe you can find weapons, guys. Military dagger. Equipping mods. Pistol damage. Let me see this. Yeah, but he's got a new knife. Damage is 180. Its speed is fast, so it's going to be a better melee weapon. Well, a, a faster melee weapon. I won't say better. Okay, so we'll equip that for right now. We also got a broken bottle for a weapon. 
Now, mods. Let's see. Modify. Oh, shit. Look at that. So we put muzzle attachments, optics, tactical, magazines. That That's pretty. Yo, that's. Uh, there it is. Yeah, I don't have no shoes yet. But shoes are kind of overrated, you know what I mean? Like... I ran out... No, I ran out of fabric, guys. We had, we had no fabric. That's why I wanted to come out looting. Back here, we can check real quick. Pollution zones, when in pollution zone, your sanity will drop continuously. The greater the difference between the two, the greater the impact suffered. Oh, shit. The fuck was that, guys? Yo, look at. Got a little bit of fabric so far. Let's see if we can find one more location. Now it's hard because you see all these locations and it, it's hard to tell what's player built and what's like actually part of the map that you could loot. But it seems like if we follow this road down out of the here, there's a couple main structures that actually might have some loot. Get a crossbow, so good. How do you go first person? I, I asked that earlier. I don't know if anybody answered. Yeah, is this location right here? Yep, right here. Beware, you are not welcome here. What? The players are so fucking mean, dude. Oh, we double click. Ah, I got you, got you. Double click aim.
We are a bit thirsty. Where you at? Uh, energy link, stardust source, so we'll take all that. So we got a little bit of fabric. I think we might have enough to craft up at least the hat and boots. Let me see. I think I could check, right? No. Mm. I wonder if you can break down. So if you discard stuff... Um, does that break it down into like fabric or or do I gotta So I feel like that old clothing should turn into fabric in some way. Or do I gotta make that dis disassembly bench? Yeah, cause we did, we're getting like a bunch of like clothing and stuff like that. Disassembler. Okay. That'll be the first thing we build. Military, little military looking location here. <gasps> nice, we got a bunch of fabric out of that. So, ooh. Oh, dude, why is there so many of these guys? What if I can... Generally what happens, you know, I, I show up and this shit's just like, nah, bro. We don't want that smoke. I get it. I get it.
let's get this base stuff set up real quick and keep it moving. Okay. So let's get the rest of our clothing done. So we'll go boots. Um, and gloves. Steel suits, thank you, thank you for the membership, or the uh, re-up on the membership, man. I really appreciate that. Okay, so the only thing we got to do next is a hat. All right, but let me come here. Um, there's B, right? Yep, B. And then we'll open the build menu. We're going to try to get some foundation down. Boom. Oh, I need more gravel. God darn it. Okay, let's go out. Get some gravel real quick. I should have got some while we were out. I didn't even think about it. Definitely try to get the headshot, guys. It does so much damage. Yeah, there's so much. Uh, hold on. Right there, I can see some from here. Good bit of rock right here. Oh, use the pickaxe to mine? How do, you, how do you equip that over, like, your regular rock? Or do I just equip it as a melee weapon? No, it's not a melee weapon. So how do you change your pickaxe to be in your primary... Like this. Uh, maybe I put it down on my hot bar or something. Mm, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Oh, use the F button. We can make the most out of the area I chose. So the durability on these is actually pretty good. Like, this thing's going to last a while.
so we'll roll with that for right now. That should be good. What is this again? Copper. I'll grab a little bit of copper ore right now. We'll, we'll get some base storage and stuff like that. We're about to store most, most of this. So we'll roll with that. I don't know what the hell's going on. It might just be like the wind is picking up. Okay, so the wants me to build a disassemble bench too, which is obviously what we need to prioritize anyways. Um, build menu, foundations. Right. I'm not building a structure or stronghold. What the hell are they talking about? Why did it let me build these two things here if I couldn't? Bruh. I don't even know what the hell a stronghold is. So I wonder, can I move this? Yes. At least I got this down for right now. So now we got that done. Let's go ahead. Um, basic support structure. What did the mission want me to build? Okay, so get some walls up real quick. I don't have the window ones unlocked yet. Okay, let me see. So, disassemble, disassemble. Here we go. Disassemble bench. Okay, so we just complete a journey. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Disassemble scrap once and a discipline. Okay. So all of this stuff here um, can all be disassembled. Let's select all and do it. So we got tons of fabric, adhesive, rubber, metal scraps. Awesome. Get rid of those. Uh, build a furnace. Uh, put logs into territory terminal. Oh, for structure decay. Got it. So this is this is how you keep your your base from breaking down, is you kind of you kind of go in here and you, you 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 feed it daily or whatnot. So the daily consumption is nine and three. All right, we're good. I mean, shit, I don't need to put that much though.
Alright, so we'll do that. Uh, discuss the territory and future plans with the bird. Alright, let me let me do this journey real quick and build this furnace. Um, go. Build menu. Facilities. And furnace. Alright, so burn logs into charcoal once. Alright, so we gotta we gotta get more uh I, I used my wood in the uh in the base thing. I've seen one other player so far. He drove past me on a motorcycle. This gets wood pretty quick. Okay, so we'll go ahead, craft up some charcoal. Let's do. Sure, we'll do all of it. It's not too bad. Only 40 seconds. Let's talk to the bird real quick, see what he wants. Good job setting up our territory. It's nice to have a place of our own, even if it is a bit bare bones. Maybe basic, but it's a good starting point. What do you mean? My the shit more is we nice. The discover out there, and the more power we gain, the more we'll be able to build. In time, we'll make it feel like home. I Tell hope so. Chat. I assume there are still some towns left. Some. After the devouring, the survivors eventually banded together and formed small settlements. If I remember right, the nearest settlement from here is a place called Deadsville. Sounds inviting. I wouldn't go expecting the height of luxury, but it should be a good place to dig up useful info in the area and maybe scrounge some materials. Deadsville. Okay, so Deadsville's down here to the south. Make our way down there. Yo, why they always gotta mess with me, chat? Always. Like, why can't my base ever just be nice? I thought I did a pretty good job. Um, actually, should we build... Should I build a storage? Or what the hell? What happened to my beard, bro? And my hair? It's like that. Let me see here. Um... storage so this one we just need wood this one we need okay so we'll do one of these wooden crates real quick First, let's see how big one chest is first. We're gonna build in a bunch of them. 16 items. So those are salmon, sanity gummies. Okay, so you just right click to. All this stuff, we're going we're gonna to come back and we're, we're going to cook. Um, so one of the things we're going to have to work on is uh, drink. Because I only got one little bit of water left. Let me see what I actually need to craft up some drinks. Okay, so we could do red berry juice. 
can't do water yet. You need dirty water for water, but red berry juice is... Yeah, that's base... Um, hydration, I think. Yeah, so let's craft up some of these. And we'll keep our eyes open for those red berries while we're out. So we should be good to go now. Yeah, so I'm going to make sure I grab these red berries anytime we see them because this is going to be our main form of hydration for a while until we figure out how to get water. How big is the map? Like, like that big? <laughs> it's fucking, it's big. It, it's really big. And we're just in this little tiny corner over here. Yeah, it, it's big. Try out this knife. Actually does pretty decent damage. Where'd my hair go for real, chat? And my white, my beard turned white. It's like I aged a hundred years in a matter of seconds. Can we drop down here? Yeah, the zombies seem pretty chill right now. Like, there's a lot of them, but yeah, they don't aggro like crazy. I'm gonna try to get one to lock on to me. See. But the, these zombies seem like they're the least of the enemies that we gotta worry about. Oh, that's Deadsville right there. Check out this trailer park real quick for loot. Or RV park. Oh, what's up, dude? Who are you? Passing through this camp is safe to rest and recover. I'll be gone in a few days. It's safe. Why not stay here permanently? So where are you headed, dude? Can you tell me? So now, now there's no voices. Before he died, he asked me to scatter his ashes by the lighthouse he used to guard. Trouble is, I don't know exactly where the lighthouse is. All I know is it's south from here. My old man told me once that the lighthouse is the beacon of the sea, driving out the darkness.
My voice probably went to the same. Oh, no, no, there's my. There's my hair, Chad. It's back. I was like, I, mean, I think my voice might have went to the same place my hair went. But now it's back. Here we go, Deadsville. It's a nice gun, dude. Hey, stop right there! Holy uh, shit! Who are you? Where are you from? Hey, calm down. If I came here to attack you, you'd be dead already. Now put that thing away. All right? Fine. You don't look like a vulture anyway. Uh, but who are you? Just a lost traveler in the wilderness. Saw the light of your fire, thought I'd come take a look. Well, then you're not alone. Most folks here got trapped out in the wilderness and ended up seeking shelter. The same thing happened to me. <laughs> ah, come on in, friend. We got bunks by the campfire, and we pooled what food we have. Uh, just put your gun away, and they'll be glad to share with you. <laughs> Where'd my hair go? Not again, dude. <laughs> oh. uh, we got unread mail. Let's see what this was about. Daily login reward. We get food. Thank you. Yo, this is true MMO. Beta opening reward. Okay, now we got some water. Oh, we got a free hat. And an adrenaline shot. Uh, so we got trader here. Uh, so this guy sells consumables, the activators, the sanity gummies, cactus juice. Receive daily tasks. Art of backstab. So I don't know why I lost the ability to backstab. I was able to do it initially, and then once I left that starter area. So kill three deviants with a crossbow in the Dayton wetlands. Yeah, I could. E yeah, we'll definitely take that. See anything you like? I'm always open for business. I remember this video game. I used to play it. Video game? <laughs> I always thought it was some surrealist piece of art. Oh, damn. It's probably not as valuable as I thought then. Still, I'm glad to meet someone so well-informed in this backwater. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here like everyone else. I ran into a lot of beasts, and what are they called? Deviants? On my way here, too. It's definitely dangerous out there. That's not it. If you play it smart, you can avoid all of those. The problem is the deviation. The deviation? Yep. Anytime someone around here sets out to go anywhere, they just run out of whatever they have. Gas, electricity, you name it. So they end up stuck here. You see this old beater next to me? It only took her half a tank of gas to take me and my babies here all the way from the north to the east coast. Then I had I just know that voice bam! actress's script said no deep southern accent at the top in, rolling on the floor enough. laughing rolling on the floor it's laughing not it's just terrible. Cars. A freshly charged battery will run out of juice in a couple of minutes and just heating up a can of beans could drain a whole fuel canister. Strange. Do you think it has anything to do with that big tower north of here? Whatever that building is, it seems to be using a lot of energy. I don't know, but I'd stay away from there. That's one of the monoliths left behind by Rosetta. I hear those things are full of traps and deviants and... 
Who knows what else? That sounds exactly but like where we need to go. What? I heard a rumor about a nearby town. Thirty years ago, it had a family-run business. If you know what I mean, collecting protection money. Then, that family and the rest of the town died. During Starfall. A family business? What's that got to do with anything? I mean, they were gangsters, kid. The whole town was mobbed up and they leached the area dry. Now the same thing's happening today. You mean ghosts are causing these problems? No offense, Claire, but anyone ever tell you that you've got an overactive imagination? You should heed the wisdom of your elders. Trust me, ever since the stardust spread during Starfall, things have been different. Here, give me your map. <clears throat> This is the location of the abandoned town. Better be able to shoot them. Go there, and you'll find something for sure. Wait. Why do you think I'd go there? Well, you're a mayfly, aren't you? I used to see some of your comrades out on the road, and they all have the same light-up backpack. Just think of it like I'm hiring you to sort out this deviation for us. I'll talk it over with everyone here and scrounge together a reward, if you can solve this problem. All right? Let me see what, if there's any other traders here. I like that guy's pants, though, for real. Can I trade with her? Yep, okay. So I want to see. So she has blueprints for small frames, which I don't know what those are for. And then there's another trader in here. So what is this currency? Unit price? I wonder if this currency is what you get from completing those daily tasks. But yeah, there's some really, really good uh, attachments and stuff here. All right, so I got two missions. We got one mission um, that Claire gave us, and I got the daily task to kill three. Um, what the hell was the territory called? I think it was three of the deviants in level seven recommended, but it, it said something about the swamps or something. I don't or the Del Dayton swamps. There's Dayton's Hospital, Dayton Hospital. Overlook Town. Rookham. Yeah, so that manor that had that big ass thing floating outside of it. Um, yeah, see, this mission has those little jelly things for uh, for currency. Uh, 
Uh, Almond side, thank you, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the fam. These are all rank five. I mean, I'll push a rank five mission right now because I'm. What level am I? Um, I don't know. Gotta be like level three or something like that. So, I, yeah, we'll, we'll clear out the manor, and then I'm also going to check out the, the hospital mission. Collect your... Oh, oh, I never claim my rewards. Got you. Yeah, my rewards from the, uh, the journeys that I finished. Yo, it's like, uh, it's like Conan. Conan has the same, like, kind of journeys and shit that you can do. We're almost done with the architect journey. I want to see what happened. What's up, Zomboy? What's that all about, guys? I know they attack because we got our asses attacked. Hit them, they get pissed off. You just let them live their life. Oh, they're not attacking me first because I'm a low level. Ah, uh, I mean, it, I, I'm track because it's like that in World of Warcraft and shit like that. Like true MMOs. Um, the the usually the mobs will be like. Um, Passive.
So I think I lost all those bolts, though. Side here. It's kind of weird. I feel like my zombies are broken. Does anybody else that played this notice that, uh, like, is there a point where the zombies start attacking you or whatever? I can't get in there. That little force field thing. Oh, 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 oh was trying to get me. They won't attack low-level players. Yeah. Oh, nice. We just got a new revolver. other things out there we gotta loot we gotta check the uh after images people are saying at level eight yeah. so they're a bit forgiving um on low level players and not you know for the the enemies to not all be super aggressive Kind of makes it a little easy though this this area here that guy kind of looks like a rick time for a chat
That's enough. Okay, so now we have we can get in here. Weapons crate. Give me something good. Uh, we got a bone knife, SMD damage, sniper rifle ammo. I'm not gonna waste that primary energy or whatever to invigorate my weapons. I don't, I don't see the point of it right now because the, the enemies aren't even attacking yet, so. Just keep it moving. What level am I at now? Um, I have no clue, actually, I gotta check. Oh, no, no, we got that, we got that other mission up here. All right, right here. Uh, I don't know how to check what level I am. Well, I'm level four. I think I'm level four, almost level five. I'm gonna keep killing the enemies because you get XP, but. One thing I love, this though, the day before didn't have that, which just absolutely trash tier the game. Yeah, so there's a, uh, that's what people in chat are saying, at least right now, is there's a grace period for new players. Um, like, if you play, like, something like World of Warcraft and stuff like that, enemies won't attack you. Like, low-level enemies won't attack you unless you attack them. Um, and then as soon as you start getting into, like, higher-level stuff, that's when, uh, you know, you hit, like, level 7 or level 10 areas. That's when uh, the, all the mobs become super, super aggressive. So, yeah, it seems like there's some kind of grace period right now. And enemies only attack you if you attack them. Yeah, I mean, Paul, you definitely could take advantage of uh, looting low level. Well, I don't know I, the thing. I think it's the enemy levels. I don't. I don't know if it's the player level. I think it might be the enemy levels because I feel like if you if you go into a higher level area, I feel like they'll just kill you regardless. Because, yeah, if you would be able to take advantage of it. You'd be able to go as a low-level player into a really, really high-level area and then just loot. This is a level six enemy right here. I can that one. That's a nice town right here. What do you 
worrying about you. Are you too high a level, dude? Someone to come by. I need your help, please. They're out scavenging. Got ambushed by some of the bastards of the cult. Wait, what, what? Uh, Kayla went into the abandoned hospital nearby to try to find some medical supplies, but it's been more than two days since she had to come back to it. If it's been two days, she probably ain't coming back, man. Okay, so we gotta go and try to find some medical supplies for this guy. I mean, as soon as we get to the point where enemies are attacking us, this shit will be pretty fucking... Pretty difficult. Especially if you get in higher level areas, depending on the density and... The mobs and stuff like this could get really, really interesting. That's a level 7 enemy here. So MMO is a massive multiplayer online game. Farm some XP here. Level five. Should be getting a lot of XP too because these guys are high level. And I think people said it was what level 10 before you can uh, do PvP. Be pretty quick here. Level 10 for PvP. I feel like they should change it to level 5. For when the enemies attack you. Level 10 for PvP is fine, but... Level 5, I feel like, should be more than enough. Explore Dayton Hospital. Defeat normal enemies. Defeat elite enemies. My mysterious treasure. Oh, shit. So she did die. What the hell? What? What?
This is different. Yeah, it's much cleaner. Almost like a normal working hospital. We should get out of here. Let's try retracing our steps. That might not be so easy. Something's affecting this place. V? Tell me you saw that too. The wheelchair? Yeah, I saw it. Looks like we've got... Well, let's find this thing and change its mind. Discharge once their health indicates scheduled for discharge. Hospital ward dates 12323. Hmm. So only one of these doors is going to be right. Once their health indicates hello, this is a reminder that the patient in bed two, ward 703, will be ready for discharge once their health indicates scheduled for discharge. What if I have do I have to heal? Dates. Oh, so the date is different on this one. This is 21. That the patient in bed two, September fifteenth, will be ready for discharge once their health indicates scheduled for discharge. Hospital number twentieth, the nineteenth. Okay, so you go through this door; it changes the month. Discharge. Hospital ward. Yeah, so we're at Dates. five. So uh, September is what? Nine, right? Yep, so nine, and then we need to be 15th. So we keep going through here. I think it lowers the day, right? Yep, 18. So three more. One day too many. Maybe we're good. Hello, nurse's station. Nope, we got it. Is this the patient in bed two, ward 703? Your test results have returned, and you're now ready to go home. Please wait a moment for your discharge to be approved. Okay, so we just got to bring the medicine to Paul. Uh, but it says that there's a mysterious treasure here. 
So if that's glowing like that, I wonder if that's one of those boxes with the bad dudes in it. Nope. And it says I need to um, find two weapon gear uh, caches to... Is it better than the day before? I mean, it's not harder to be better than the day before. That game was a straight scam. That's no, nice, though. I'm definitely enjoying this. I don't know where the hell I'm going to find these weapons at, though. I didn't see any. Check the first floor. Yeah, I went on the roof. I didn't see anything up there. I don't think it's up there. I think this whole area, um, the ho like all the buildings, everything in this little compound. Oh shit, she's coming, dude. Peaceful time. A little parking garage area right here. Yeah, I'm looking for this elite enemy that's supposed to be in this area. My grace period is over. Oh, playing the game for real now.
good. Maybe it was just that area, or this dude's coming at me now. Oh, yep, no, they're just, they're just attacking me. So it being night, one of the things you can do is you can come and equip, I think it's here, right? Yeah. The torch. Just in case you're having a hard time seeing and shit. I wonder if this makes... Not bad. So the guns don't seem to attract any of the zombies. Oh shit, that's all my ammo? You know, I, I don't know why I thought I had more ammo than that. What do I think of Starfield? I, 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 I mean, I might be one of the weird people. I absolutely love Starfield. I felt like it struggled with replayability just due to how the missions were set up and stuff like that. It was like doing the new game because I did the new place, new game plus grind. And then when I went back in to do my second like playthrough, I was like, oh, I'm kind of just playing through the same missions again. Like it there wasn't a whole lot of like change, you know, and oh. how was that? And it wasn't like a whole like the decisions you can make weren't a whole lot different. find anything at the hospital yeah your friend is dead I didn't find anyone live in the hospital it wasn't a very safe place I see thank you for telling me here take this for your help uh, so I got some of those jelly things some XP 
Yeah, so it said find weapon or gear crates. Did not locate any of those in the hospital. And then the elite enemies either. I didn't see that. I wonder how scarce ammo is. Because I have nada. Crossbow becomes the meta now. Here. Ammo is scarce in this game. Yeah, that's dope. I mean, it's good because guns are generally, you know, in the apocalypse, that, that's how guns should be pretty scarce. But it's cool because we got the, uh, You got like crossbows and stuff, so that makes up for it a little bit. So we already cleared this one. Cool. So we have to rely on the melee a little bit too. So whatever I did, guys, um, you can now see that the peaceful mode is completely passed. I'm going to switch over to uh, a regular melee weapon because I'm completely out of ammo now, too. It says there's something in that admission office area. I don't know how to get into that, though. So this dude... Oh, fuck. Dudes are like screamers. Thank you so much, brother, for the gift, and I appreciate it, man. I think we gotta drop down on that balcony somehow from the roof. Oh yeah, I forgot you can climb and shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now I feel like I'm playing a real fucking zombie game, dude. Yeah, as soon as this shit happened, it, this, this picked up pretty good, guys. So that was the elite, right? No, that wasn't the elite. Oh, nice. We just got a blast suit. Wow, melee, jumping and more than three zombies. This definitely has the day before beat. Lol. <laughs> Johnny, thank you, thank you for the super chat. No, for sure, dude. There it is. Seriously, thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate the love, brother. So I can get down to the second floor here. Well, I, I, oh, I could have backstabbed him. And this was that room that was blocked off. Yep. Okay, so there's one of the gear crates done. Pretty easy to find because they're like highlighted red. I don't see any more.
Laid back with the super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. B and Zombies go together like PB and J. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. It definitely picked up a bit, though, because, yeah, when, when you first start, the zombies don't, like, come at you. So you're kind of just, like, walking around. Got a toilet plunger as a weapon. I'm trying to see if there was another one of those highlighted red things. I don't see them, though. So I'm still completely out of ammo. Yeah, ammo is, is scarce. So don't be like me, guys, and waste all your bullets for no reason whatsoever. Like, I just started using the handgun. Not even, like, no apparent reason. I just started using it. And, uh, yeah, I burned through all my ammo. And that was, uh, all the ammo I had. Yeah, you can probably, I, I'm pretty sure you can craft ammo, but I'm just saying, like, right now, early on, without crafting, yeah, you can. That's it. It's not like you loot a ton of it. At least not right now. I haven't looted a ton of it. But it kind of, it, it's all right, though, if you... If you craft up some crossbow stuff. In fact, the crossbow is definitely meta. <laughs> Yo, let me check out that armor too that I got. I forgot about that armor piece. Um, what was it? Oh, maybe it was a recipe to craft that blast suit. Fucking scared the fuck out of me, dude. Ah. That's brutal. That's fucking brutal. Love it. Yeah, that was another player who scared the shit out of me, dude. He's level 22. The hell is this spot? So it's like a shoulder slam too if you sprint into him. Something up there. 
Uh, I think we gotta go from the roof and maybe drop down on top of it. Shit out of me. Oh, yep, there we go. Boom. Jacket wrench, connector firmware, got some gear. Okay, so... What is this here? Investigate at the foot of the monolith of greed, where the signal came from. Okay, so that's how you actually approach the monolith is from here. I mean, it says it's recommended level 8. I think we might swing back to my base, craft up some uh, ammo for my crossbow, and we'll, we'll, we'll check out the monolith. I, I ain't too worried about it. We should be okay, right? Put on a jacket. I don't have no jacket gear slot. I mean, there's like this fashion stuff, but I don't even have any of the fashion stuff yet. No, yeah, I mean, it has its, you know, it has some issues here and there, you know, the some voice bugs here and there, um, you know, graphical bugs here and there, but, uh, all in all, I mean this this is pretty pretty fucking solid. It's really unique too. Um it's definitely its own spin up. Yeah, God damn it. Um, you know, it doesn't just take what a lot of other games do and like copy paste. It's definitely pretty unique in its own right. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't, I don't quite know what happened there. I did, I did massive amounts of damage to him. Like, I don't know if that area I was hitting him in just kind of... Damn it, dude. You see me from so far away, too. Things make an awesome ass sound too when they spot you. What is that?
the fuck is that? thing is crazy dude listen 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 I don't care if I can go in it I'm not Somebody, oh, somebody's like base. I'm like, yo, who's over here shooting, dude? Yeah, listen, listen, guys. Chat says stuff all the time. Oh, dude, don't worry, man. It, it, won't, it won't hurt you. And then you guys are just saying that shit. So I go close to it and get stepped on, right? And then I, 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 don't, I lost all trust for chat and what you guys say. Okay? And you know what? I'm okay with not going in it. I'm okay with that, you know? Don't, I don't even want to hear it, guys. It's actually pretty damn decent in this. Damaged buildings. 
Okay. Sanity pills, we got water. Um, juice. So my question is, um, oh, this chest is full. You know what? No, 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 we can. We're going to break this down. No, not that. Yep. Select all. Disassemble. Make a better base. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. My base is good. This base is already really good. Make a better base. Can never catch a break, can I, guys? Never. Uh, let me craft up some uh, some more bolts here. It's twenty-five, thirty. We'll go thirty bolts. Make a better base, man. The disrespect. Look at this. What do you mean? That looks good. Right, I'm actually going to build another uh, chest here. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. Another. Oh, shit. Uh, Andrew, thank you, thank you for the super chat, man. The puppy, mer that was not a puppy. Listen. No, 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 no. That does not qualify. So we got a lot of shotgun ammo. And we got SMG ammo. Some sniper ammo and rifle ammo. <laughs> but we just don't got nothing to shoot it out of. Okay, so I'm sitting on... Let's grab my bolts. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and pop that little sanity chew thing. This little salmon sanity gummy. All right. We're going to go full health. But Andrew, thank you, thank you for the super chat, but I appreciate it. Uh, get the reward thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. We could actually finish that one up. No, the one wanted me to craft ingots. Actually, I think I could do it, right? Let me see. Um, oh, you got to claim the rewards from every little thing. Got it. I thought it was you claim rewards from each time you finish the full journey, but no, you claim the little bitty rewards as you progress, guys. So for like this, I can come here, claim the reward. This, boom, claim the reward. Oh, what is this? The Last Valor, tier one weapon blueprint. Is that like a legendary? Yeah, 
Yeah, oh yeah, shit, my character's hungry as hell. Hunger thirst taken care of. We got ton of uh, ton of bolts. I got heels. All right, we're good to go. Let's go check out this monolith. cradle you're wearing you're a mayfly you're back is that a cradle you're wearing you're a mayfly mayfly sorry i have no idea what you're talking about as for this thing on my back i just found it huh. you're serious aren't you but if you're not a mayfly then what are you doing here it might sound a little crazy but this uh, this bird Told me I should come here and eliminate a great one to make myself stronger. Wait, uh, that sounds way more than a little crazy. Interesting. You've got a cradle, so you must be a meta. But you say you're not a mayfly. And you didn't say you were here to aid humanity and expel deviants like a typical mayfly would. You must be something special. A metahuman with great ambitions. It looks like our goals are aligned right now. Oh, so you're here to eliminate the Great One, too? No. I <laughs> no. came to shut down this monolith. It's destroying the entire area around it. But at the root of it is a Great One, hiding in its rift space. So really, I'd be glad to help you. I could even pay you a reward for killing the Great One. After all, people used to hire Mayflies for tasks like this. Look, I just scanned some gunk on the door and read out the data for you. You mind telling me in simpler terms if there's a way to get rid of this stuff? Yes, you just need to have the corresponding isotope. Then you can release it through your cradle to eliminate this stardust residue. That's all we gotta do, chat. I don't have it on hand. That's all we gotta do. But I can tell you how to make it. If you can access a crafting table, the manufacturing process is actually rather simple. However, one of the materials you need, gelatinous residue, is quite yeah. rare. That's Usually all we gotta you can do. only find it in a deviant layer. I'm afraid I don't know the surrounding area well enough to tell you where to find the gelatinous residue. But I saw a makeshift shelter to the south with a few traders and travelers. Listen, lady, I'm a jarhead. You gotta put... She's not putting it in... She's not talking Barney status, Jess. She, she's, she's talking... It's about some shit I have no clue what the hell she's saying. I got the isotope of gluttony you asked for. You sure this rotten jelly stuff can really get rid of the stardust residue on those doors? Yes. Or more precisely, it can burn it out. The isotope can absorb the stardust particles from the residue, destabilizing it and eventually causing the residue's chemical structure to undergo collapse. The isotope-induced destabilization should also ensure that the stardust itself is diffused, without incurring negative effects on the surrounding environment. So, uh, let's just both pretend I understood all that. Yeah, at least now, me and the character on the, this on, the, on the same isotope. point. Oh, that's simple. Insert it into the injection port on your right arm. The designer of the cradle took this into consideration. As a metahuman, your body is the most reliable vessel the isotopes can use to filter out stardust without causing any harm. 
Whatever, baby. I don't even care. Easy Red, like, thank you, thank you for the membership. Welcome to the family. I appreciate it. Uh, Andrew with the super chat. Uh, did the wife pull the trigger on the seven? Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, it was, we weren't buying that. It, I was just kind of asking questions on the uh, 7,900. Yeah, I didn't end up, I, I didn't buy. I have a 4090. Um, uh, I have, yeah, we're sitting at what? 40, 42 bolts now. Probably actually move myself to the other side of the screen so you guys can see a little better. There's not really much over here that I'm blocking. Damn, somebody built their little camp on the way up to the monolith. Level seven, I think the what was the recommended level eight? So, we got this. It's like a, it burns them. Oh. It's all different types of shit you can pick up.
shit. I think we're good. Could it need some more bolts? Yeah, that's how, yo, know, legit. How many do I have left right now? Same at 35. We're still doing all right. I might have to, I might focus on melee a little bit just to kind of preserve my ammo because I don't know if the, what the boss is going to be like, how much damage it's going to take. So what was the reason to add that in the game? <laughs> Place is pretty big. Please submit the correct items. But the gelatinous goo, right? Where the hell's my goo? Or is it this? Uh, or is it, oh, is this thing? Coordinate for a great one rift within a monolith of greed. Activate a rift anchor. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, so that's one done. 
And then the other one's up top there. Thought I had to put the goo in there. We still had a lot of this area to push through. Holy crap. The thing is, if you take too long, the enemies actually respawn. smoke This is no joke, dude. My ammo is depleting very quickly. <laughs> Go to the tower for Telly. Teleporting. Interact with a teleporting tower on the main map for a neutral settlement to activate it. Oh, you can fast travel between uh, any two activated teleportation towers. Oh shit, that's dope. Well, 
it's online. What is this? Oh, so you could set this little camp up anywhere, dude. Oh, so if I need to make... Because I just seen I'm like, T for camp. Um, obviously not in here, but... If I need to go, uh... Rearm... I could set that little outpost up and, and craft, guys. Oh, it destroys your main base. I thought it would just move the little tent thing. Because my base is tied to that little square thing, I thought. guys How did I get so much sanity loss? Good to see you have a decent ability to handle people. You dealt with that well. And where did you go while I was handling the situation? I am not naturally Most skilled at human interaction. You may have noticed that, although I'm trying my best with you. And if I'm to be honest, I simply feel a certain dislike for that woman, even though I do agree with her reasoning. Spawn the, spawn the parrot and the, or the crow in the wall. Okay, so we can now go in. The only thing is, should I, should I really be going in there with only 23 bolts, though, guys? Fuck it. I don't know. No? It would've been, would it really be that bad of a decision, guys? Yeah, I mean, we can go at least top off to like 50 bolts or something. Now, can I use this thing here and Where can I teleport to? So I'd have to, I mean, I could go on the outside here and put my camp down on that main road like those other guys did. 
Oh, you can fast travel to base for free? Ah, okay, oh, nice. Yeah, I just need to craft up some bolts and then we'll we'll come back to that point. I'm also gonna I think I stored up some sanity gummies in here. Maybe not. What's up? Okay, so we're going to do up. Oh shit, I'm dying. You know what would be nice right now? A whole assault rifle. Three hundred? What the hell am I fighting? So now we should be able to craft quite a few bolts. And we're gonna do a hundred, okay? I, I don't even know how to craft other ammos. Like, I'd probably have to, let me see my base crafting. Facilities, uh... Mmm... So let's cook up some of this copper. Yeah, let me... Hold on, before we go do something stupid... Let me, let me craft up some stuff real quick. So furnace, I can do copper ingots. Get those cooking real quick. Uh, where the hell was that copper? I think it was down the hill here, right? It's where that other dude's base. I got a couple weapon benches and shit that we can make. I want to see if there's any uh, guns or ammo and things like that that we can craft up. Yeah, there's a lot of copper here. Hell yeah. As long as it's not a juggernaut. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I, don't, I haven't really done any of the base building stuff yet. We've kind of just been going out exploring, doing missions and things like that. That's why I'm right now trying to take a little bit of time and actually smelt up some, uh, some ores and build some of these other facilities that we probably should have built earlier. 
But I mean, the crossbow is really powerful. I, like, don't, I'm not gonna sit here and act like that shit is like. I, I don't know. I, th I find the crossbow to be pretty good. Especially if you hit headshots, it does some insane damage. And I think what makes the crossbow so good is that the am ammo is reusable, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's got a slow firing rate, but huge single target damage. There's single shot damage, and then you get out. Damn, there's a lot of fucking copper here. Reusable ammo is just very efficient. I want to thank all the new subscribers to you guys. Thank you so much. I don't even know how many likes we got in the stream, but thank you. I know it's, it's a lot, so I appreciate the love, guys. Seriously. Somebody's in the chat behind me asking, yo, how do you even kill the bus? <laughs> Somebody's like, I don't think you can. The place is loaded with stardust. I don't only play games if they get a thousand like I guarantee like like even if it's a game um, That I might not be like totally on board with or no, like but if it gets a thousand likes I'm, I guarantee you guys a second episode regardless like no matter what the circumstance even if I'm like Oh, you know, I'm, I'm only playing this game to test it out uh, You know to see how you guys you know to see how what, what it's like if it gets a thousand likes, I, I guarantee I'll do a second episode just because. Because there's some games that I do as one offs. Like, I literally, my intention is to just play it the one time and then move on. It's kind of just like, a, oh, let's check this game out and, like, you know, go do something else. Uh, but then some of those games end up becoming, you know, something that we play longer because just so many people are interested in it. Okay, so now go here. Take those. Okay, so we gotta do charcoal. So it takes charcoal and... Copper to make uh, the ingots. So we'll let that go real quick. Hmm. For water collecting, so I'm gonna I'm gonna craft one of these sealed flasks. I don't know if you can just collect water from like the river. The 
The crafting times aren't god-awful either, thank god. <laughs> Okay, boom, and then we come here, craft these, we do 87 more copper ingots. Damn, that's seven actual minutes, dude. Okay, now what we're doing this, facilities... We also need glass. Okay, so we're gonna need more charcoal. Yeah, there's a rain collector. I've seen it at a lot of guys' base. A lot of guys have the rain collector. Oh, we can get one of those done up. Because, yeah, I am running... Uh, right now, I'm focusing on the berry juice. Well, I, got, I looted water from, uh, from my uh, journeys. I got some water as a reward. But, yeah, you can see a rain collector over there. Somebody's using it. about charcoal is it doesn't take a whole lot uh, of time to make it banana tree Like that, yeah, you can queue stuff up. All right, so we'll let that stuff go for a sec. Um, we're gonna be doing up the weapons bench. So can we use to craft medicines, gunpowder, and other high level items? This just needs glass and wood. Stove needs charcoal. The issue with my the where my how my base is right now is uh I wonder if I could build more this way. So like, like if I pick up my camp here. Place that there real quick. So I want to see if I can. Oh, I need wood. Hold on.
Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Yep, awesome. See, I couldn't... Now we got some now we got some progress going here guys Some, I want to get the window walls unlocked. Yeah, like a door and window. But I was able to put down a decent bit more uh, flooring and stuff. Obviously, it's not the greatest shape because for some reason I'm like too close to the stronghold or whatever. So it's like I can't build in a certain direction. Yeah, I gotta... Where was it? Um... Cradle here. Doors and windows. Yeah. Roofs. Tear these down, or yeah, we'll tear this one. And we'll relocate this one here. I don't know why I tore the. I should have just relocated it. The other one. Just gotta. We gotta have some some kind of windowage going on here, guys. You know me and my, my pro base building. Fucking beautiful, guys. So I was going for that unique design this time. That way you guys can't say, like, you know, I built a box. 
This is... This is the exact opposite of a box set. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let's take all this stuff out the furnace. Boom, boom, boom. building the oh we gotta get through the glass we gotta do the glass glass we'll do 99 eight minutes oh dear now can you like hold on let's let's do uh like batches of 10 And then I'll do a big batch. Do a couple small batches. That way I can just get the things I needed crafted up. <clears throat> now we'll, we'll get a roof on it at some point. I wonder what the upkeep for this is going to be now, though. Ooh, 40. Yeah, a lot more than... So we got we got to get some more wood just for for the upkeep. I don't want my base breaking down. So yeah, we should be good to go. Oh, I gotta have the materials on me if I wanna repair. Okay, so you can just mass repair your base too, which is dope. So basic weapons bench. All right, and then armor. So let's see what we can craft here on this bench. Uh, weapon repair, weapon craft, and calibrate. So let's check out weapon crafting. <clears throat> so we got the Hunter um, 500S blueprint. I looted, I got that from that mission. Then we got the Desert Eagle, <coughs> which we can also do tier two. No shoddy blueprint. I do have a submachine gun blueprint. And we can go tier two on it. No assault rifle, no sniper, crossbow, and melee weapon. So we can get this sub. So what materials? So. Oh, you got to craft each individual part of it. Oh, uh, yo, that's pretty cool. Oh, shit. I don't... No, no, no. We want to do tier two, though. 
tier two. So tier two. Oh, I can't. You need bronze. Oh, okay, so we got to do tier one. So the different tiers um, require... I'll show you guys here. The different tiers, like if I want tier two, you know, you need all-purpose plastics and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just... It's just too expensive. There's stuff that we don't have right now. So we'll just do tier one. Now we got the PDW here. Gotta get some some freaking uh attachments for these bad boys i am happy yo, yo, they got some really dope weapon attachments as you guys can see scopes suppressors um you change out your mags extended mags <laughs> um let you put laser sights and shit on it like there's actually a, a fair bit of uh weapon customization which is always good okay so i can actually throw that on there Now, the only downside, though... Oh, I do got ammo for it. I was like, yo, I don't think I got ammo for this bad boy. But we do. We got a little bit of ammo. So I can actually use this and the crossbow. For that monolith. Alright, let me see. Craft gear. So we could do the raid mask. Yep, the raid top here. And I can even go two tier two on it. We need cotton though for that. So pretty much I'll have to stick with tier one on almost everything. Oh, uh, we'll be playing Avatar tomorrow. Yep. Part four be tomorrow. Okay, so we got a new vest. Um, these raid pants. Raid gloves. Raid mask. Well, we need electronic. Uh, so we got we got to explore and or disassemble to get the electronics. Definitely don't want to waste any uh, resources or any of the ammo. The ammo we're going to save for the monolith. And let that cook. All right, so we're in a good spot right now, guys. We got 131 bolts. I got about 200 rounds of SMG. And that's it. That, that, that's, that, that's all I got. So I, I can't say I'm in a great spot, but we're, we're, we're in a decent spot. But um, we're going to end this episode here. Um, I'm having a blast with this. Definitely having a blast with this. So if you guys want to see more and, uh, you know, see where this goes. I know it started off a little weird, a little slow. Some people are like, what the hell is going on <clears throat> with, like, the zombies not attacking? But, yeah, once I got past that little new player grace period, it got real. Um, it, it's, it's nice. So we're going to go check out this monolith see what's going on there but um i'm definitely enjoying this uh and if you for those of you guys who are coming in and haven't seen the full map yet like we've only been going around like this small little area here this map is big big yeah it's like big 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 all right guys so thank you I got to go to bed. I've been up since like 6.30 this morning. Uh, but we'll be back with some more streams tomorrow. I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I, I was going to do more, guys. But like I said, I've, I've, I've streamed already like eight hours today. I've been up since 6. I got My son has hockey in the morning. Um, I got real life shit I got to take care of. And it's almost 11. So 
I gotta go to fucking sleep. Uh, but hey, I, I mean, I might play more of this just tomorrow. I might not even wait like a couple days. We could just play more tomorrow. So we'll just see. I'll see how it does tonight. Um, judge it from there. We might just play some more tomorrow. <clears throat> but all right, guys, again, on your way out, if you haven't, smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. It helps out quite a bit, guys. And uh, yeah, I love you all. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.